You know, writing scripts for YouTube videos is not the easiest thing in the world. Many times I find myself just really struggling to get a script done. A lot of times I give up and I just sort of shoot from the hip and just talk without a script. And so if you like to use a teleprompter, but you are struggling with writing scripts fast enough, and it's just become too time consuming, I think I have something that will really help you out. So what we're looking at right now is GenSpark.ai. And GenSpark is a super agent. It's a, it's a large language model, but it's very proficient at going out and it can do things like look at your competition on YouTube. It can evaluate your own particular YouTube videos that you've created. It can just do a lot of things that are very complex and time consuming for somebody to do on their own. It can do it in seconds or sometimes, you know, a minute or two, uh, but it's just immensely great at saving time for YouTube video creators. And so I want to show you a, a prompt that I created for writing a script that's going to sound like the way you talk. So let's first go ahead and look at this prompt. And so in this prompt, I said, I need you to create a YouTube script for my teleprompter that perfectly matches my voice and style while being comprehensive and engaging. The script should be ready to use for filming without additional editing. So you have to enter a subject. So in this case, I said, I want to talk about why you shouldn't tell people about your YouTube channel. And then this is where you get the tool to create the script that sounds the way that you talk. I say here, before writing, please analyze these links to understand my existing tone and style. And this is where you would insert links to two to three of your existing YouTube videos. So in this case, what I've done is I went out and I found some videos that I've created where I'm just sort of talking off the cuff, very conversationally, the way that I might talk to somebody if I'm sitting with them at Starbucks. Not all of these videos work for this, so I always try to find ones that are very conversational in nature, not in the typical software tutorial that I do. So I found three of those and I entered those links into the prompt right here. And then what I ask it to do is, of course, you want a hook for your script. You want to create a powerful hook. For example, create an attention grabbing hook within the first 15 to 30 seconds that creates curiosity, encourages viewers to keep watching, match my tone of voice. The script must sound exactly like me. Use my natural speech patterns, vocabulary, and pacing from my existing content. So use my common phrases, transitions, and unique expressions. I ask it to write in a very conversational tone. I want complete information, so research similar videos on the topic and include all important information to make my video the most comprehensive resource available. Don't miss any crucial aspects. I want a clear structure. I want a teleprompter ready format. So use short, you know, paragraphs, two to three seconds max, add emphasis or pauses where natural format for easy reading while I'm doing the filming. So if you're running your teleprompter, you want, you know, small bite-sized chunks that you can easily read. You won't get lost. I asked it to not add any production notes. So a lot of times when you're creating script prompts, uh, what happens is large language model will hallucinate and go off and start telling you, oh yeah, do this, you know, B-roll shot here and for so many seconds, et cetera. I don't want any of that. I just want the text for uh, the teleprompter only. I want it to be appropriate length. The final script should be approximately X minutes. In this case, I like right around nine minutes. That allows me to put a mid-roll ad in and then end with value. Conclude with a powerful summary and create the script as if you were me writing in my authentic voice. So I've got all this in this prompt. Let's run it and see what it puts together. Now, if you've never heard any of my other videos, you probably won't be able to tell whether the script is written like me and the way that I sound, but I'll tell you how accurate I think it is. So we'll copy it. We'll go back over to GenSpark and let's run this prompt. I'm going to go to Super Agent and drop it in and then off it goes. 
So it's going to go out, it's going to look at all the information that's in this prompt, and it's going to create this script. And when it's done, we'll look at it together. All right, so it's completed the script. Here it is, why you shouldn't tell people about your YouTube channel. So the, the one thing that I want to mention right off the bat is I use the word so a lot. I start a lot of sentences with so. It's sort of an idiosyncrasy of mine, and I can't figure out a way to stop doing it. And here we are. It's starting off my script with so. I want to start off by just saying that right off the bat, this might be the most counterintuitive advice I'm going to give you on YouTube. And this is very conversational. It sounds a lot like the way that I speak, the pacing, things like adding I know, but here's the thing. You know, some of the different ways that I talk uh, and speak in videos, it's captured quite nicely. So I'm not going to go through and read through the whole script, but I'm just telling you this is about as close as, as you can get to the way that I talk. And the real key factor here is because it's written in the way that I talk, probably the pacing that I would talk because I'm sort of a slower paced reader or presenter, it, it does make sense and, and would be easy for me to use with a teleprompter. So it goes through and, you know, covers this topic of why you shouldn't you know, tell people about your YouTube channel. It does a really good job of that. Let me be honest with you here. When you start making YouTube videos, you're probably going to suck. I sucked. Everyone sucked when they started. You just don't pick up a camera and immediately know how to make great content. It's like any skill. It takes practice. This would be very easy for me to read. It is very much the way that I would talk about this topic. Now, the one thing that really caught me and caught me a little off guard is when we get to the very end of the script, it gives, you know, this bottom line, and this is the conclusion of the script. It adds, until next time, take care. So if you watch any of my videos, you know that I just automatically say at the end of every video, until next time, take care. That's just the way I sign off on every video. It's just a habit of mine. And so it does a great job of creating this very easy to use, easy to copy script that you could throw in your teleprompter, whatever that is, and off you go. You've got this script, it's very concise, but it sounds like you, and because it sounds like you, it'll be very comfortable for you to read and it won't come off like you're using a teleprompter because that's the biggest trick when you use a teleprompter is you know, do you look like you're reading? If you look like you're reading, you're not engaged with the audience and people can sense that. And so when you can get, um, in this case, GenSpark to write in the way that you talk based on evaluating your videos, that's a great thing. And that's what it did is it went out and it evaluated the three transcripts from the three videos that I suggested. And that's how it came up with the rules to write the script in a way that sounds as much like me as it possibly can. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you go to the description of this video, if you go to the bottom, you're going to find the prompt that I used. You can use it in genspark.ai and genspark you can use for free. It gives you 200 credits daily to use. So you should be able to write at least one script a day using this prompt. Now, if you want to do a bunch of different scripts, right, or you look at my other videos that use GenSpark to help you with your YouTube titles, for example, or your YouTube thumbnail text, for example, you might want to get the monthly plan for, for GenSpark.ai. It's $24.99 a month. Again, you don't have to. Use those 200 free credits a day and see if that will help you get by. But if it's not enough, then you'd have to obviously subscribe to the tool. So again, prompt is in the video description. You'll see some of my other offers for some blogging tools, SEO optimization tools, etc. If you use any of those, that helps support the channel. I really appreciate that. So again, thanks for watching. If you're new here, welcome. And until next time, take care.